is that deaf people always say about themselves in the community is uh, nothing about us without us. Hi, Lupe. Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Great. Thank you. So I love this film. I love the community, the deaf community that they show here. Does this community actually exist? Well, you know what? There are, uh, there is a safe house uh, or silver house here in LA called Awakenings that is deaf owned and deaf run. So mm -hmm. this is something that really exists across the country. Mostly when, when I was starting to get into this business years ago as an interpreter, if, if a guy had an addiction, a deaf man or woman, I'd have, he'd have to go to a hearing program. They'd have to get an interpreter. Then you're going through a hearing program with one interpreter following you around all day long. Rather than this concept of a deaf silver house is a great concept that Joe decides to do after he uh, gains his sobriety. So this thing does exist. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's a great story. Um, Riz Ahmed plays this musician who loses his, his, his uh, ability to hear and he's a drug addict. So, I mean, you take away his method of coping, right? And he put, you put him in this situation like it's, you know, what do you do? And you're right. there to help him. <laughs> Yeah, well, and does he want to be helped? Does, and yeah. really, his whole thing is to get the quick fix, mm -hmm. get the cochlear implant, and I'm on my way. And the, the lesson there is, you know, uh, well, there's several lessons, but the one that Joe tells him is there's nothing to fix. And yeah. that's, that is the, really comes out of the, the deaf community's own uh, way of living t today compared to what it used to be. There's mm -hmm. nothing to fix here. Don't try and fix me you should learn sign language so you can speak to me. That's their attitude. Yeah, that's what I loved about the film that it's not something to fix, it's just something that you need to live with and commune with other people. And I really like that. So for you, is your story in the, in the movie similar? I, I read that you're a veteran and I'm not sure if you lost your hearing in that same fashion. No, 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 well, I, I, I haven't lost my hearing. My parents were oh, okay. dead. Oh, okay. I went, went to Vietnam, came back with addiction problems mm. and, uh, my mother was a lip reader. My father was totally deaf for his whole life, never uh, heard anything. So there's a lot of closeness there with the war experience, addiction, uh, watching my mother, how she had to deal with reading people's lips, still talking about the last song she heard before she lost her hearing. A lot of my mother is in, uh, in, in Joe. Yeah, because it seems, um, because you're still involved in the community, right? Oh yeah, I've been doing courtroom work, addiction work, uh, my band, uh, I do the whole, uh, we do a Black Sabbath tribute band. We, I do the whole show in sign language. So a lot, oh. you come to any of my jobs or gigs here in LA, there's a lot of deaf people at the bar, uh, which it's, yeah, so I'm still in. I'll never be out of the deaf community. <laughs> <laughs> so did, and also, besides starring, did you also provide some consultation to be respectful about the community and maybe just some of the representations? Darius asked me several things along the way. And I, I just always reminded him the one thing is that uh, deaf people always say about themselves in the community is uh, nothing about us without us. In other words, if you wanna make a movie about us, do some consultation with some deaf people, see if you're portraying them right. And so he did that. He did a lot of homework. It was a learning curve for him, but uh, he was willing to learn every day. And I'm assuming that a lot of the extras were actually people from, the, from that community. All deaf, all deaf, yes. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, I want to I want to learn. I've always wanted to learn sign language because I think it's beautiful how they, you know, how do you capture a sentence in, with your hands? Well, it's a totally different language. That's why you really can't speak and sign at the same time because mm. English is the exact opposite of uh, ASL, American Sign Language. So it's wow. um, the word order doesn't work sometimes. So it's if you can't uh, sign it, or you should sign it without speaking. And if you're gonna speak it, let an interpreter do it for you. You know, it's, it's complicated because the deaf community is very complicated. Yeah, yeah, they, they tell, they tell uh, um, Riz's character, shut it off. Shut it off, that's right, yeah. Well, beautiful, beautiful movie. I really loved your representation in the film and uh, congratulations. Thank you so much, Lupe, I appreciate you very much. No problem, thank you. Thank you.